Jim, what expectations do you have for Lindor? You think he could be a leader? Is he their leader right now? I, I, mean, I think he's one of them. You know, you need a ton of leaders on a team, but I think uh, him settling in last year was a huge part of that. And I also think this, uh, Buck Showalter is almost like a kindred spirit for him. I think Buck took a lot of the attention away. Uh, sometimes I thought Lindor tried to say the perfect thing in New York that year one. And yeah, he's getting booed a little bit too. So I think he was trying to make up for that. But in, in year two, I think Buck had that look conversation like, listen, let me be the spokesman. You don't have to be the spokesman. You just go out and play. And I think because of that, he focused more on what he's capable of doing, both offensively, both defensively. He settled in. And then, you know, like any leader on a good team, it kind of becomes this natural thing uh, over a period of time. So I think he earned that this and then this year I think he's just going to build on what he did last year. I 100% agree. I feel like last year we saw Lindor that was taking a little bit more accountability than he was maybe in his first year with the team. In addition to that, he had that incredible second half of the season. When you look at what he's done, he's a shortstop who's hit 30 home runs three years in a row. I think this is the type of player we're going to see. So he's going to be producing on the field, and that's the first step in terms of being a leader off the field. Um, I, he's only going to grow from here. I really liked his comments about Edwin Diaz. I thought they were measured. It really shows how much he cares about the Mets, how much he cares about his teammates, and other people notice that. Um, so, yeah, no, I, I think he's going to be a leader in that clubhouse, uh, and Mets are lucky to have him. You think he's more valuable this year, Jim, with the defense being the shift and the new rule changes even more valuable? Look, he played every game last year, right, which yeah. is valuable. I know he drove in some runs in with some power. Defensively, though, this year in particular, even more valuable? So I think both he and McNeil, their value as a uh, defender will go up because of the lack of the overshifting. I think if you have any type of range or baseball IQ and can anticipate where the ball is going to be, hit that's a big advantage and I think that it showed uh, on occasion with both of those guys but with Lindor in particular I think that's what he uh, does so well is that play up the middle primarily with range uh, and really flawless even the routine play he makes I think look easy but I do think to your point that overshift rule now I think benefits the Mets up the middle yeah benefits you would think teams with good defenders right yes, I mean yes. they're not so the Mets have that obviously up the middle to your point